Academic Writing, Lecture 9, The Theme, Parallelism, Sentence Problems, Sentence Fragments, Lecturer, Shlar Nurmanova, The Department of Foreign Language, Two Foreign Languages. So, learning objectives are to identify parallelism, to describe parallelism with coordinators and or but, to distinguish parallelism with correlative paired conjunctions, to identify sentence problems, to identify sentence fragments, choppy sentences, to study run-on sentences and comma spices, to study stringy sentences, editing practice. The following terms will be used during the lecture. Sentence, correlative, parallelism, paired, choppy, coordinators, splices, stringy, etc. So, parallelism is the use of components in a sentence that are grammatically the same or similar in their construction, sound, meaning, or meter. Parallelism examples are found in literary works as well as in ordinary conversation. Parallelism, also is known as parallel structure or parallel construction, is a balance within one or more sentences or similar phrases or clauses that have the same grammatical structure. The application of parallelism affects readability and may make text easier to process. Some additional key details about parallelism. So parallelism can be as simple as choosing grammatically similar elements when writing a list uh, in the first to x, second to y, third to z, etc. In some cases, parallelism involves the exact repetition of words, but all that is required to fit the definition of parallelism is the repetition of grammatical elements. Parallelism is a prominent feature of Hebrew and Middle Eastern poetry, and it appears frequently in the Old and New Testaments or Bible. The term parallelism is used to describe both a figure of speech and the principle in grammar, although its use in each context is slightly different. In grammatical terms, the structures are parallel, have the same grammatical form, both verbs or nouns, for example, when these coordinators appear in a sentence, the pairs of list of items they connect must have the same grammatical form. Parallelism with coordinators and principle in grammar. The parallel form is used with correlative conjunctions based on a repetition of grammatical form. A word can coordinate with a word if it, is the same gram if it is the same grammatical class, noun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition. A phrase can coordinate with a phrase if the head of the phrase is the same grammatical class, same as brackets above, and the class can coordinate with a clause. Coordinating conjunctions such as for, and, no, but, or yet, so, are used between elements in a parallel construction. So parallelism may be fully par parallelism and correct parallelism. Fully parallelism, for example, the first sentence with two forms to listen in, in the second sentence, the grammatical uh, construction in each slide of the coordinating conjunction is the same creating a parallel sentence. Fully parallelism. This committee needs to decide whether the company should reduce its workforce cut its benefits or lowering workers' wages. And correct parallelism here. The committee needs to decide whether the company should reduce its workforce, but its benefits or lower workers' wages. And one more example. When I walk the dog, I like to listen to music and talking to friends on the phone. And correct parallelism. When I walk the dog, I like listening to music and talking to friends on the phone. So, coordinating structures or parallel construction in English is based on a repetition of grammatical form. A word can coordinate with a word if it is the same grammatical class, noun, verb, etc. Finally, repeating information in the standard subject web object form can be used to draw attention to another element. Uh, and, however, once you arrange your sentence to be parallel, it's easy to see which element does it not and which reward, default rewards. You may find you need 
more specific vocabulary just to create a parallel construction. English learners often use too much paraphrasic construction as struggle with parallel constructions because they lack specific vocabulary. For example, a necessary idea in Smith's theory could be better stated as fundamental to Smith's theory in the structure, fundamental to Smith's theory yet previously unknown. How to determine if a phrase is a noun phrase, a verb phrase or something else? Remove the word until the main meaning is gone, then put the word back in which really matters. For example, in the class the man who was at the end of the pier, the head noun is the noun man, since it's absolutely necessary. In the phrase walking to the elder or edge of the dog, the head is the verb walking. If you are struggling coordinating long clauses, by try rewarding and coordinating at a simpler level and such as phrase or weight level. Short can sometimes be better than long for holding your reader's attention. Sentence problems. So there are several sentence problems. They occur mostly, most fre uh, frequently in college students' writing. Uh, sentences, fragments and run-on sentences. So here you see fragment. One of the problems is sentence fragments. A fragment is an incomplete sentence that is incorrectly uh, punctuated as if it were a complete sentence. Choppy sentences are sentences that are too short and often repeat the same ways. Run-on sentences. So if two independent clauses run together without any punctuation between them, the error is called a run-on sentence or fused sentence. The comma slice splice. If only a comma appears between them with no coordinating conjunction, the error is called a comma splice. A stranger sentence is a sentence that is usually difficult to read and understand because it has too many clauses, often due to an overuse of coordinating and or subordinating conjunctions. So concerning phrase fragments, a sentence has to have a subject and a verb. A phrase can lack a subject and a verb, but complete sentence needs both. So fra sentence fragments in the set, for example, she never talks about her inner feelings, her feelings of fear or of joy. And revised here, she never talks about her inner feelings of fear or, or, or joy. Clause fragments. A dependent clause must also be connected to an independent clause. If you begin a sentence with a subordinate conjunction, such as when, because, although, connect with the clause with an independent clause. So, run on sentence or comma splices. Separate or revise independent clauses that run together. For example, Faulty. He trained hard. He never considered the strain. Revised. He trained hard. He never considered the strain. Fuzzy syntax. Look for sentences that might ma make a reader say. Ooh. There are sentences that begin in one way and end in another mixing constructions. Your reader should be able to tell clearly who, what is doing what. Faulty. In the essay Notes of a Native Son by James Baldwin discusses and revised in the essay notice Notes of his Native Son, James Baldwin discusses. Wrong verb forms. Check that all verb forms you have used are standard verb forms. Avoid non-standard forms like wrong, has went, should have went, have been noticed, have drunk, etc. Tense shifts. Avoid flip-flopping back and forth between past and present time. Lack of subject-verb agreement. Singular third subject. He, she, it or a singular noun need a singular verb with an ending S in the present tense. Check carefully for verbs with S endings. Look for an edit non-standard forms. Faulty pronoun, case and reference. Check that subject and object pronouns are correct 
and avoid ambiguous or under pronoun references. Adjective verb confusion. Use the right forms of adjectives and adverbs in the right places. Double negatives. Double negatives can be vibrant in speech and are customary in some dialects, but avoid them in formal writing. Computer program checkers will alert you to possible grammatical problems, but they do not they are not infallible. While you should use a grammar checker if you need to, uh, to you should not automatically add, act in every suggestion. A fragment is a complete incomplete sentence that incorrectly is incorrectly punctuated as if it were a complete sentence. So run on comma splices identification. If two independent clauses run together without any punctuation between them, the error is called as a run-on sentence of few sentences. If only a comma appears between them with no coordinated conjunction, the error is called as a comma splice. A comma splice error also occurs when a comma has a transitional expression joined two independent clauses. So you can correct run-on comma splices in the following ways. Separate the two independent clauses in two sentences with a period. Separate the two independent clauses with a semicolon. Separate them with a comma and a coordinating conjunction. Make one clause dependent on the other by adding a subordinating conjunction. Make one clause into a phrase containing an ing form and attach to the remaining independent clause. So, a stranger sentence is a sentence that is usually difficult to read and understand because it has too many clauses, often due to an overuse of coordinating and or subordinating conjunctions. So, to fix a stranger sentence, you can break the sentence into one or two or more sentences and turn some of the complete thoughts into phrases or subordinated clauses. It is undeniable fact that writing skill has a very significant place in the field of foreign language learning and teaching. That is why it must be handled with care. In order to revise this, one has to be careful about some concerns like semantics, pragmatics, syntax and alike. Learners should not commit mistakes on such problematic points. One of the problematic points is syntax, which simply focuses on words word order in sentences. In this syntax matter, run-on sentences sometimes called few sentences. So, summary. In the use of components in a sentence that are grammatically the same. So, a fragment is an incomplete sentence that is incorrectly punctuated as if it were a complete sentence. So, choppy sentences are sentences that are too short and often repeat the same words. If only a comma appears between them with no coordinating conjunction, the error is called a comma splice. A stringy sentence is a sentence that is usually difficult to read and understand because it has too many clauses, often due to an overuse of coordinating and of all subordinating conjunctions. So, revision. While getting ready for the lecture, be ready to answer the following questions. What is parallelism? Why do writers use parallelism? What are the conditions of coordinating a word with a word phrase? And a what is a comma splice? And use the following sources while getting to the lecture.